Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting? Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Uh, hey, all right. Let's meet our next contestant. He's a 50-year-old singer, actor, game show host. He enjoys being a dad. He enjoys dancing and going to bed early. Let's hear it for Wayne Brady. Wayne, welcome to the show. Why'd you go with the old school bad game game show motif? Well, I figured it's game show day, so why not? Let's play a game. What do you say, Wayne? <laughs> Wayne Brady, man, am I happy to have you on the show? Thank you so much for having me, Gentry. Yeah, I'm blown away that we didn't already have this day, to be honest with you, because it seems like every day I turn around, it's like donut day. I mean, there's a day for every damn thing, but I, I was blown away that there was no game show day. That's the thing, and now Fremantle has fixed that. Free, Fremantle is making sure that people know that game game shows are are an art form that need to be cel- celebrated, and and it's so American, man. It it it's a piece of Amer- Americana. It's been around since since TV's been around, and so I'm glad that they asked me to be the uh, the uh, the spokesperson, you know, for the very first one. Well, I figured since it is game show day, happy game show day to you. I'd like to play a little game. I didn't have a ton of time to come up with like a na- good name for it, but I figured the network could help us with that. I'm thinking it could be called the Mount Rushmore game. We love putting people on, on these Mount Rushmores, and we talk a lot of sports around here. So for me, I would do for basketball, Bill Russell, Kareem, Michael, LeBron. But everybody's doing that. Like, Why don't we do a right. game show, Mount Rushmore? So for me, it would be Chuck Woolery because... Wow. Okay. Nope. Nobody tosses it to break like that two and two. That's pretty smooth, right, Wayne? You remember the two and two. That is hilarious. Yeah, yeah Bo- that's good. Bob Barker, of course, would be on my Mount Rushmore of game show hosts. Uh, he's like the Cal Ripken of game show hosts. And then uh, Pat Sajak, of course, who's got more money than Pat. And then R.I.P. Alex Trebek. That would be my Mount Rushmore. I'm interested for you. If you have a basketball Mount Rushmore, and then the game show would be Mount Rushmore. Who's your game show Mount Rushmore? front i don't have a basketball mount rushmore because i'm a passive fan at best for for basketball like the guys that i love so if i gave you people to put on mount rushmore i think it would be in inauthentic because it wouldn't be people that i'm that i'm putting up there because i think they're the greatest i think i'm putting them up there because i happen to really like them like like and this isn't you know trying to kiss up but but Shaq. Shaq would be on my Mount Rushmore because, come on, the guy has transcended the sport of basketball and just become a piece of Amer- Americana. Um, uh, Kobe, because I love what Kobe stood for. God bless him and his daughter. I I loved his work ethic. Um, uh, I'm trying trying to think of to oh uh, well Jordan because it's so hard to outwork Jordan. And he's another example, I think, of, of like that, that American rags, rags to riches story and followed up with a personality like LeBron. LeBron is another one of those uh, um, all, all around cats who, who will go down as a legend. So for anyone hearing me, they would probably really disagree with my choices because they seem so obvious. But, but for someone that doesn't truly, truly follow the game of basketball all the time, those, those are the guys that I. I dig. The first step to reaching your full potential is having the courage to start. At Strayer University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses. Because our goal is helping you work toward yours. So you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. No-cost gen ed is provided by Strayer University affiliate Sophia Learning. Eligibility rules apply. Connect with us for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. 
The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Well, unlike uh, most game time. shows, Wayne, the, there's no wrong answers, actually, on Mount Rushmore, the game show. So I don't know how good the game show is going to be for the network because I know they like right and wrong. But for this one, I, I mean, those were right. You, you got right answers. Nice work. I love them. And, and in terms of the Mount Rushmore for game, game shows, I would put, uh, you know, definitely put Monty Hall because Monty, not only this format with Let's Make a Deal, but Monty was a prolific game show creator. He, he really loved the actual art of game. Um, I would put Alex Trebek. God bless him. Um, he he has become synonymous with with uh, with knowledge and and uh, Je- Jeopardy. I think is one of the best game show formats, hand down. Um, and um, me, you got to put Wayne. Yeah, uh, you're you're really pretty good, uh, Wayne. And, yeah, and and I just don't do it because it's me. But I rec- recognize you know you got to give yourself roses sometimes. I am the only person, in my humble opinion, right now, who, just like I've done for 14 seasons going into 15, I, I host a show that is completely unscripted, except for the game. Completely. I am out in the middle of an audience doing crowd work like you would do if you were in a stand, stand-up club. But my crowd, crowd work lasts an hour. I don't know what the audience is going to say. I'm, I'm hosting games, but I'm also doing improvisational songs, characters, comedy bits. It's a game show meets a variety show. So until some somebody can beat beat me at that, then I'm on the Mount Rushmore. All right. Well, Pat Sajak's wallet might have something to say with it, uh, Wayne, because you know that guy's no, he's, he's stacked. No, the money is not one thing. He can <laughs> take the stand stand there and talk which is amazing because I've watched him since I, since I was a kid. So that doesn't mean that he's won. Skill for skill for skill. Because if you're talking Rushmore and you're talking sports, that's my skill. So beat, beat me at my skill. I'll, I'll give you this too, Wayne. I mean, uh, he's also got Vanna White bringing in ratings. Let's, let's never forget, Pat Sajak, that you had the help of Vanna White, okay? I mean, she's a goat herself. Are you kidding me? She is an absolute goat. So I think that they're <laughs> an amazing team. But, but but I've got a great squad squad myself. I've got John Jonathan Mangum on my right hand side, always bringing the funny and set set me up. I have Cat Gray that plays plays the music that lets me do my thing. And the secret weapon is I have one of the most beautiful women on TV, Tiffany Coyne, who Tiffany can go toe to toe with anyone that does does that model job. But then Tiffany is funny. And Tiffany can can get laughs all on her own. We we are an NBA comedic dream team on Let's Make a Deal. That's beautiful. Uh, Wayne Brady, of course, a uh, host of Let's Make a Deal. It is National Game Show Day, so we're celebrating today. I did not put you on my Mount Rushmore of game show hosts, but I, I'm sorry, Wayne, but I did put you on my Mount Rushmore of improv comedians. I'm blown away at the way that you just said you did uh, pretty much improv on your game show too so I mean now you really got me thinking but I'm wondering what are some of the best tips you got that helping you sharpen that blade when you're out there slaying that improv comedy what's some of the best tips people have given you no one's given me tips I've earned them over the lifetime of do, doing it so the tip that I can give give you as a as a host yourself is the best the the essential piece of improvisation is listen. Don't go planning what you're going to say to someone. Listen and be actively involved in the conversation because then you can use what the person said in in real time. Don't don't plan a plan a bit in your head that if you're going to be active, be to be active and listen. That's the biggest piece that I can give you. In a fast-paced world, every day brings new challenges and new opportunities. At Strayer University, we know a thing or two about getting and staying ahead of change. For over 130 years, we've been providing students like you with innovative tools, customized support, and an education built to empower you. So you can find your way forward and always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. 
Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. All right. Well, I'm sitting here listening to you, Wayne, and I'm enjoying it. It's National Game Show Day. Everybody should go out and celebrate. Watch a game show. Uh, maybe play a little a, a little game at your house. I follow you on uh, Instagram, which is a, a fun follow. You're at Mr. Brady Baby if you want to follow my man. Wayne Brady, but what's up? What's up with these made-up mixtapes? I saw that you're promoting that a lot. Explain to the audience what this is. Well, well, I've done that a couple times. It's my improv show that that I do live. That I that I've done it all all over the world. I've shot an international special in Australia. You know, it's myself and a band, and and I take Jonathan Mangum with me, and and we basically I I make up songs that you've never heard, the stories behind the songs, characters. Some some things maybe that you've seen on Who Who's Line a couple games, and then I do straight up song and dance numbers with with dancers and and uh, it's a full on true variety show right in front of your face. Another thing I appreciate about game shows is we talked about uh, the beauties like Vanna White and Tiffany that you're working with. We we talked about the hosts, but another guy who maybe should get more love. How about guys like Rod Roddy and Johnny Gilbert and these uh, announcers that really make the show can you, can you talk about who, who's got next because i know rod roddy and i know johnny gilbert but who are some of these announcers that maybe are on the come up have you watched let's make a deal anytime recently i have seen it but i'm not familiar with your guy is his name jonathan the guy that does your your uh, announcer yeah so see so you can't ask a question like that and not know that jonathan and and his role on 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 the show because he's, like, he's, he's becoming just, a star. He, he's becoming a star himself. Um, he's, he's he's been doing this for fourteen years. He's already a star. Just, just because he's not on your radar, so so I so, so I want you to check check him out because I can't really even say who the other announcers are. Cause I don't even really know if there are a ton of announcers doing it um, because I, because I just don't watch a lot of other game shows. But but I'll tell you for my money. Jonathan transcends the role of announcer because there are people that just sit there and go, and here he comes next, and you want a car. Jonathan is actually funny, and we make the funny up on our show. So I think once you watch our show, then come back and talk to me about Mount, Mount Rushmore of game, game shows and, and, uh, and, and announcers. All right, man. I'm, you definitely gave me some homework, Wayne, and I appreciate that. You know, always trying to get Thanks, better. Sir. All right, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, Happy National Game Show to a day to you, Wayne, and keep kicking ass, and thanks for your time on the show today, brother. Thank you, my friend, and I hope to talk to you in person soon. The first step to reaching your full potential is having the courage to start. At Strayer University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses because our goal is helping you work toward yours so you can always keep striving. Visit Strayer.edu to learn more. No-cost gen ed provided by Strayer University affiliate Sophia Learning. Eligibility rules apply. Connect with us for details. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.